Hey guys, in this After Effects tutorial I'll show you how to stretch type and add a bit of glitch by using just standard effects. Let's dive right in. We choose the type tool and type in stretch or whatever you'd like to write two times in a row. Then we choose a type we like. I took Arial Black for now. We swap fill and stroke and set the stroke width to 3 pixels, the tracking to 40 and the size to 345 pixels. Then we center the first word. Set a position keyframe at the beginning, move the time indicator to the last frame and drag the layer to the left until the second word is centered. Then we move the keyframe one more frame to the right to create a seamless loop. We use an extra comp for the type to be able to change the content or the font style anytime later. Step 1. Done. Then we select the comp in the project window and drag it onto the little comp symbol below. The pre-stretch type comp is automatically added to a new comp which we name stretch type effect. Next, we add a mesh warp to the pre-stretch type layer and set the quality to 10, reduce the columns to 5 and the rows to 1. Now we select the points we want to move while holding shift and drag them to the left. That's basically how we stretch. We duplicate the layer and add some other effects like fractal noise. Set the fractal type to turbulent smooth and the complexity to 10. Then we add the tritone effect and change the midtone into a bright blue. As we want the effects to be visible over the stretch part of the type, we need to add a mask. For orientation, let's add two guides first. Now let's add the mask. and add a vertical feather of around 480 pixels. As you can see, the mask is stretched as well, so we need to adjust it a little and move the left corner to the right. Let's reduce the feather to 250 pixels. Awesome! Now let's add Venetian blinds and change the direction to 90 degrees, the width to 10 pixels. Next up, directional blur. Where we change the direction to 90 degrees as well and the blur length to 20 pixels. Well, how about some glow? We changed the intensity to two. All other values should be fine for now. And finally, we add an echo. Change the number of echoes to 3 and the echo time to minus 0.01. Let's move it a little to see the effect. Please play around with all the effect settings to see what impact these effects have. Well, let's set the decay of the echo to 0.5. Now let's copy the first layer and change some of the effect settings. Fractal noise, we change the fractal type to turbulent sharp and change the colors of the tritone effect. Let's choose an orange for the highlights and a green for the midtones. That's it, keep playing with the setup guys, you'll get amazing results. Thanks for watching. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And you all know that sharing is caring. I'd love to know how that tutorial inspired your work. Add the link in the comments below or tag me on Instagram. See you all next time, bye.